Hey everybody, it's Deanna here, your intuitive relationship coach and spiritual mentor. And today's question comes from our community and it's all about follow through. How do I overcome a lack of follow through with accomplishing my goals? I'll start out great and then I get stuck spinning my wheels in the beginning stages of implementation. I want to get out of my own way, but I don't know what to do. Please help. So for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. And here's what I would say to that. Oftentimes when we experience a lack of follow through, and this can be in any area of our life, there's a few things that could be going on. The first, your why isn't compelling enough. So the truth is anytime we attempt to move towards something that we've never done or we've never had, at first it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel foreign and this can happen even though deep down we really want it. But if your reason for wanting it isn't compelling enough, staying stuck, right, or spinning your wheels as you say is actually safer than pushing through a challenge or an obstacle like I don't have enough time or I don't have enough energy. So without that strong why, it's hard to keep going when things inevitably become less ideal, which let's face it, they never really are. So get clear on your why first. And then the second one is the goal or the plan to implement might be too big. So breaking things down into manageable steps so that your brain and body can handle it is really essential. So an example would be, I'm going to clean out the garage today. That's really overwhelming. It's really big. Instead, what if you said something like, I'm going to remove anything from the bottom shelf in the garage that needs to go. It's different. It's manageable. And all of a sudden you have a really focused task. Get support from a friend or coach if it's a huge dream or goal. And, you know, I find that chunking gives you space to have those small wins, which is really important when we're doing anything new to keep our momentum up. And having a coach or a good friend to kind of be there for accountability is really, really helpful. Step three is let go of perfection. So doing something new means it's not going to be perfect. Take imperfect action and give yourself permission to F it up. And if you're doing it with a pure heart and good intentions, then even if you make a mistake, you've got to trust that the universe is going to send you all the information you need to correct it, revise it, and move through it. So stop letting yourself get held back by the need to prove something. Do it perfectly or avoid judgment. You've got this. I'd like to go over those steps really quickly again. So first is check your why. Make sure that your why is compelling enough. Two, break down your goal or your plan because it might just be too big. And then three, let go of perfectionism. So now I'm curious, have you ever struggled with follow through? And if so, what helped you to move through it? Share with us and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe so you never miss any videos on how to trust and love yourself. Check out the website for more free goodies at thedancinggoddess.com. And if you know you could use the extra accountability of a coach, I would love to support you. Go ahead and check out the link that's in the first comment to learn more about that. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.